you guys this is Michelle with creative operation and country craft creation and I have a design team project for you and this is another one of my blasts from the past I've gone through some old design team packages that I had scraps left over and created some fun stuff and I d made this little meander book and I wanted to just kind of share it now I know a lot of you have already made meander books and they're really fun to do and they do use up some scraps and make a cute little project um, but there are people out there that haven't seen these yet so I wanted to d just kind of bring this back it's a blast from the past um, technique wise and design team package wise um this is a photo play uh, package that i got uh, in a past design team package um very cute and i did a retreat project with it and i had some stuff left over so i wanted to do this and then um for this tutorial i'm going to be using some um cartabella papers and echo park papers that i had from a um a past design team project that I wanted to use and show how to put it all together. So we're going to do that. So those, again, these are past design team packages. I don't believe they're available anymore at Country Craft Creations, but you can use anything you have left over from your, your stash. You can use leftovers from, um, you know, anything. So let's uh, go through a meander book. So basically this is a one sheet kind of thing. You take a 12 by 12, you score it, you cut it in certain spots, and then you're, you're, you've got a book. You just have to do a little simple gluing and then you're good to go so I used a ribbon to tie it together and again um, this one's called a, the gnome life and I used a sticker with this little bee that I fussy cut out of the paper on the cover just really simple and cute it's four um, three by four on the back I have the little gnomes it says oh happy day and <clears throat> it just opens like a book and you have you know places for photos you have really cute things but you also because of the way that it's cut and put together you have places for tags and you know it's just super cute you can use cut apart so you just have to cut them down just a little bit so if you have leftover cut aparts you can totally do that lots of places for tags lots and lots of places for tags um i love this one no one makes me smile like you do isn't that cute um here i just added a little piece of uh, pattern paper with a um, sticker backed on cardstock and made a little pocket for a little tag booklet. And again, these were all cut aparts and extra stickers left over, little bits and pieces of paper. Um, I did uh, use a little bit of um, cardstock in here. Here's a little another little pocket that I did. And then I took a bunch of stickers and I just backed them on little teeny tiny pieces of cardstock and made little tags. So just super cute, super fun. Um, and easy. So again, this is called a meander book. Now, let me show you how to make this. This is really, really easy. Now, I actually did this using my explosion scoreboard <laughs> because I had to, right? So I love my explosion box scoreboard and there's so many different things you can do with it. Um, you don't need the explosion board for this, but you know, I mean, I love this thing and I always like I'm coming up with different ways to use it. So, you know, hey, uh, it's kind of becoming my thing. So basically what I did was I took a 12 by 12 piece of paper and on one side, you're going to score at the end line. So if you have a scoreboard, you're going to score at the end line. Basically, that's a three inch line. OK, um, if you've done see my other tutorials, I've given you the measurements for these, you know what they are. So if you don't have this, you can use a regular scoreboard. You just need to score at three inches all the way across. So three, six and nine. OK, then you turn it. And on this side, we scored on the XSL line, which is about four inches, okay? So four and an eight. That's all you have to do. And then the pink lines represent where you cut. So you're going to cut one score line all the way up and stop and leave this attached. And then you're going to cut this one all the way over and leave that one attached, okay? That's all there is to it. So let's go through it. Just as an example, I've got this black piece of paper. And we're going to start on the medium line, and we're just going to score on the M and then what I ended up doing was I kind of folded it and put it in here, scored at the M. So again, I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can use your regular scoreboard um, and do this at three, six and nine, okay? And then I did the, turned it, XXL, score it like that, 
turn it around and score it like that, okay? So now you should have 12 rectangles, okay, that are three by four, okay? So <clears throat> once you put that away, and again, let me just show you with a regular scoreboard too. Score at three, six, nine, turn it, score at four, and eight, okay? Pretty easy peasy. So then once you do that, as I showed you, I have another sample here. So we're going to make some cuts. So you're gonna cut that score line only to here, okay? So here are the three, six, nine, 12, okay? Cut this one here, stop there. Cut this one here and stop there. You should end up with like an S-shaped thing. And then basically, all you're gonna do is start folding this thing together to make a book, okay? So, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna fold like this and then like that and then like that, okay? So just accordion it all together and then <clears throat> go down and then back, forward, back, go down, back, forward, back. And that's, that's all you do. So now you should have this kind of weird configuration that looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna grab my bone folder and kind of square it up a little bit. It might be a little bit off as far as, um, you know, your scores and stuff. Just kind of line it up the best you can and it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight once you get it all taken care of and filled and everything. Nobody is going to know. Okay, but just try and get it as, as nice and square as you possibly can. So when you do your book, if you look at my first one, so we have this first page here that is just a single piece, which is right here. Okay, the second piece is actually glued so that it makes a pocket. Okay, so if you look at the book, the second kind of fold here where it would make a page, we're just gonna glue it to make a pocket. Okay, so this is the front of the book. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open, open this up and I'm gonna glue the two sides like so. And squish it down. And then that will create that top pocket, okay? And you're just gonna kind of keep continuing to do that. Now, I chose to make all of my pockets top loading because I wanted the seam binding closure. You can do a side loading pocket as well. So when you get to this next page, so we have our first page here, and then we've just created this top loading pocket. If you want this one to be side loading, then just glue it here and then you could have the tag sticking out here, okay? So you could have a combination. I'm gonna do it the same way I did it here, just so it doesn't get confusing and because of the way I did my papers, but I'm basically going to create a top loading pocket. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, keep your orientation, now fold it down, and then just glue up the sides like so, okay? And then fold that down and burnish it. And again, this is, this is a blast from the past project. <clears throat> I did not create this, but now we should have two top loading pockets like so, right? And then just keep going. So you can see there's going to be another one here that'll be top loading. And as you see in my example here, the first three pages after the cover, so one, two, three, they're all top loading pockets. So we're going to do that one more time. Okay. So keeping our orientation. So that's at the top. We're going to glue the side and the bottom and just fold it down now we'll glue outside okay like so so now I have my three pockets okay so I got one here one here and one here okay so now when we come to the next page you can see that it opens up from the bottom so all I did here was I just simply glued the whole thing shut just to make a single page like that so that's kind of the middle of the book here 
kind of in the middle of the book. Okay, so the top pocket, pocket, pocket. So I'm just going to open that piece up and I'm going to glue that entire piece down and just stick it down. Okay. And then that just becomes a solid a solid page, okay? And then we have one more pocket to make in the back right there. Top loading pocket. So, I'm going to close my book. I'm going to glue it on the side and the bottom. Like so. And somehow my folds are really uneven. <laughs> Of course, I didn't, I didn't measure the paper either, so your paper has to be even too, so you can make sure that this is all straight, but basically that's how you do it, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna put all my pattern papers on here just to show you what it's gonna look like afterwards, and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I decorated my little mini Halloween book and it turned out just adorable. I used seam binding from Country Craft Creations, and again, these are, past design team packages that probably are not available anymore. Um, this one is Photoplay and this one was from um, Echo Park Cartabella and <clears throat> I just used scraps that I had in my stash and we made a meander book. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside and again just little scraps. These pages are three by four so I cut the papers at um, two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I just randomly put the things in. I didn't do a whole lot of decoration in here, um, just because I wanted to get the tutorial done, but I did, you know, have like all these little tags that I could put in here, um, for the pockets. You have four pockets, um, that are coming out the top. And then this middle pot page here that we glued together, if you wanted to make another side pocket, you could totally do that and just glue it. And then you would have a fifth pocket here, but I chose not to do that for this one. But didn't that turn out cute? I mean, it's just a fun little idea. Um, I thought it would be really cute. It'd be a cute little brag book, you know, you can give to grandma and grandpa with the kids, you know, in their Halloween costumes. Oh, and I was going to count the pages. So there's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's 14 sides total. So 12 pages on the inside and then four pockets. So there's lots of room to put things in and lots of places to put pictures. So I just wanted to show you that. It's the Meander book, Blast from the Past Project. And I just thought it was cute. So I wanted to share with you. So that's all I got for today. That's my tutorial. Just a fun little, you know, thing. If you guys have leftovers, something fun to do, because if you're like me, you don't throw anything away and you want to make something else. So I did. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, I will see you again soon with more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.